Today I'm going to show you how to use 3D models in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so here's this comic page I've been working on. Uh, right here you can actually see the finished word balloons plus the thumbnail sketches I already put in here. And um, so what so what I want to show you is how I used uh, Clip Studio's 3D models to actually draw out these figures here. So here's the draft, the uh, storyboard, thumbnail stuff. And then I went over that again and created a new sketch layer to refine that thumbnail. And uh, I think this process would have been a lot more difficult if I hadn't used the 3D models, um, especially for this panel uh, right here. So as you can see, this angle is pretty, pretty interesting. It's a pretty dynamic, uh, dynamic angle. And I, I like how it came out. And uh, but from the from the thumbnail sketch, you can clearly see like that that wasn't that was the idea of what I wanted, but that's not how I uh, drew it initially. And so I had to use a 3D model from Clip Studio Paint to actually get what I wanted out of this uh, pose right here. And so here is the first model I used in this panel for the father character. I, I put him in there in this pose at that angle and then I put the sun in uh, right there on that angle and uh, it really just helped me uh, put everything where I wanted it, wanted it to be as far as the characters limbs uh, and bodies and stuff and it really helped me figure out yeah just like I said the angle I wanted it in so uh, real quick now what I want to do is show you how you can use it in your own comics or whatever you're trying to draw uh, it doesn't have to be comics it can be illustration or whatever but uh so yeah i use that 3d model in that um panel right here this panel but now i want to actually want to work on this panel down here so my character asher uh i want him to have his hand above his head something like this right here well yeah something like this his hand above his head on his head because he just got karate chopped by his dad or whatever. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use another 3D model. Um, so in Clip Studio Paint, if you go to the Materials tab, open up this sub menu and uh, go down to 3D and then you can choose whatever uh, down here. They, they even have environments for you to use in your comics. And so for Asher down here, I want a pose that uh, puts his hand on top of his head. Uh, but as you can see, um, they don't they don't have any set. They don't have my specific pose that I, I want in this list right here. And so what I have to do is choose choose a model that best fits my my uh, character. And what makes Clip Studio cool is that I can actually go in and edit it, edit that uh, model exactly how I want it to be in the uh, comic or the artwork, illustration, whatever. But let me see. So I'm in the pose folder, right, pose folder right now. So I just want to get more specific. And, and instead of doing entire body, which is these ones, I actually want to do hand because in this panel right here, I actually want, like I said, Astra's hand to be on his head. So. I'm gonna pick a hand that is somewhat closed and all the way. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so it's this one, grab a handle. Now just from looking at the picture, you would think that it's just the hand that I'm uh, gonna use as a 3D model, but it's, it actually does this. So I put it on the canvas, just drag it and drop it right here. And as you can see, it actually dropped the whole model, uh, character model on the canvas, but it has those hands that I wanted, right? So what I'm gonna do now is actually shrink this um, character model down. So I'm going to, let's see, I can use this little camera icon to enlarge it or make it smaller. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Then use this to drag it. Actually, I can close this out now. Now I can zoom in a little bit more. So I'm going to move this to use this to drag it down here to this panel. Okay. 
Okay, so I want Asher to be looking like that. Uh, and you can mess with all the other settings right here to get what you want. And so real quick, what I'm gonna do is actually use these settings up here to move this character model into position of where I want it to be. It's kind of tricky to get the, uh, the hang of it, but once you get it, you can start posing your character, clicking on different body parts and uh, moving them in any way, the head shape, legs, arms, all of that. And so that's why this is really cool, because you can literally pose a character inside the software itself. Uh, I'm going to set up this real quick and I'll be back. Uh, Alright, so I went ahead and put this in position, and so now what I want to show you is how you can move the actual joints to go into detail with your character modeling and character posing. So what I want to do is grab this arm, this part of the arm, with the object tool in Clip Studio, and I'm going to... Use these uh, green, red, and blue lines, uh, and these act as a axis for the for the arm and how it bends and stuff. So, what I want to do is have his hand eventually reach his head, so it's resting on his head. So I think I need to do something like this, right? But I need to definitely move this uh, part of the arm up some more. It's probably the shoulder, actually. That's what makes this really cool. Is like you can move parts, uh, these parts of the body, simple stuff like this, just like that. And so now I can lift this part up, arm. And definitely get some uh, some used to it. You definitely got to get used to it. Uh, I'm still trying to get better at this because. Uh, because these these uh, 3D models can definitely help you with your uh, with your character posing, or whatever, or just character drawing in general. Uh, so now I think I need to, need to like that, yeah, and then I need to. We can grab a joint as well. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to turn the hand around now. That's what I'm trying to do. So now, I think I need to do something like that, right? I think so, yeah. Looks about right. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty good already. Uh, probably, I could probably adjust it a little bit more. But yeah, it's starting to look good already. And so once I've got my, my figure how I want, uh, or not my figure, but the, the model how I want it to be uh, modeled in the software. I can actually just draw over it like I, I was doing already. And like I did with this panel up here. To get some really cool action, dynamic poses and stuff. Because just drawing this freehand would have been uh, really hard to do without reference. Because sometimes you can't find that exact reference that you need for a pose that you want to use in the comic or whatever and so that's why the uh, 3d models and stuff in clip studio is are uh, really cool really good for this type of stuff but uh see if i can readjust his hand a little bit more and go up a little bit back i think that's a good something like that let me turn off the draft layer i just want to see it without the lines yeah, that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is uh, actually draw my character over this model. 
Uh, I'm done with the model now. And so now what I'm gonna do is go to this layer because whenever you put a model, 3D model onto the uh, canvas, it actually creates its own layer down here in the layer section. And what I'm gonna do is just literally uh, turn down the opacity to like 30, 25, whatever. And then I'm gonna go back up to my draft layer and start drawing over it. Oh, and also I'm gonna turn off my uh, storyboard layer. And there we go, now I have a nice uh, character model I can use for my comic. And that was, that only took about like a minute or two, three minutes or so uh, to figure out. And uh, it was super simple. You definitely gotta learn how to use it. It's uh, pretty tough to learn how to use it at first, but once you, once you uh, figure it out, uh, you can definitely start drawing some cool poses and uh, all that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw this character. And uh, I'll be back. Alright, so here's the basic sketch I uh, I got I just got done with, uh, and I just used the character model as you saw. I need to copy it exactly exactly because um, I have my own style, right? And uh, I just wanted to use the the 3D model as a reference point, uh, not not to trace over exactly, but more so to use it as reference for my own. Uh, uh, character and to uh, just get me started because sometimes it can be hard to uh, start from nothing and that's why these uh, character models are really good in Clip Studio Paint. Uh, again, you can find them in the material section of Clip Studio where you, wherever you have that at down on down under 3D uh, pose and right here, but uh. Yeah, 3D models are just super time, super time savers. Uh, if I wasn't using these 3D models, I would have been sitting here on this panel just for like two hours trying to figure these, this pose out and how I wanted it to uh, be. But with the power of 3D models in Clip Studio Paint, I was able to quickly and efficiently uh, quickly and efficiently get this stuff uh, done and just moving on to the next panels and stuff and so once you learn how to uh, work work with it and uh, figure out what's best for you as far as 3d models goes you can start drawing uh, your characters over top of them and just creating better looking poses and different uh, better shots and all that better characters and uh, I'm enjoying the process of using these right uh, right now, so I'm, I'm just gonna keep using them uh, and uh, keep practicing with them. But uh, yeah, 